Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna unbox a lawnmower. And no, this is not just any lawnmower. This is an Ego lawnmower. This is a battery operated one. So this one's gonna be interesting for me. I am coming from a gas powered one. So I'm very curious to see how good a battery operated one is. Now these are not cheap by any means. So this one is $599. It is a step up from the one that's $399. One of the biggest reasons I wanted to get this version is because it is self-propelled. If you've never had a self-propelled mower, that makes all the difference in the world when you're mowing, especially when you're mowing on a hilly surface. Uh, you just get that little extra oomph and it helps you move this thing around. Now, if you're curious about the model number on this, it is the LM2102SP. Now, before we open this up, some details about it. It does offer up to 60 minutes of runtime. That's up to 60 minutes, not over 60 minutes. It's up to on a single charge with the included 56 volt, 7.5 amp hour arc lithium fuel gauge battery. Has a variable speed, self propel 0.9 miles per hour to 3.1 miles per hour. Six position cutting height adjustments, 1.5 inch to four inches. Has a 21 inch deck, has LED headlights on it one-handed height adjustment, weather-resistant construction, folds for easy compact storage, and easy access to bushel grass collection bag. Now, one thing I'd like to note also is if you are curious about getting an extra battery for one of these, they are not cheap at all. The battery for this model costs a whopping $350. You heard that right. Just the battery itself is $350. So the mower, means nothing. It is literally the battery that costs the most when you buy one of these. So if you want an extra one, you will definitely be paying a lot of money for one. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, one thing I would also like to note is that the weight of this box with this mower inside is 96 pounds. That is how heavy this is. So as you can see, I had to cut that because I actually was taking everything out of the box out of frame, so it actually wasn't visible. So I wanted to actually show you guys what comes in the box. So of course the main event is your uh, mower itself. You get a instructional manual there. We get our battery, battery charger, bag, and our chute if you don't want to use the bag. Because I actually want to try and use this before the sun goes away, I actually am plugging this in. And as you can hear, the charger actually has a fan. So this should charge this within 60 minutes to 100%. Right now, as you can see out of the box, it probably has less than 25%. Now, as you can see in front of me, uh, the mower is folded over, so you can actually fold it uh, if you want to. And it does have a quick uh, adjust lever to bring it back up. So on the side of the mower, we have a little green uh, handle here, and it just says push to unlock. Once you push this in, you can lift the handle, and there it is. In its now. If, you've take, if you're taking it out of storage or taking it out of the box, you unfold this and this is how it's going to look. So you need to fully extend this. So you have two green clips on the side, pop those up, pull the rail up all the way, and then snap it into place. Now, for example, if you try to use the mower with it in this position, it will not start at all. So you do have to actually do this, pull it all the way up, snap it into place, and then it will start because otherwise if it's in that position, it will just not start at all. Now you also have some additional adjustments here. You have that green lever that you use to uh, pull this. It actually has a couple of different adjustments. So you have one here, you have two, you have three. So there are three different adjustments. So you have uh, the perfect height for whoever's using the mower. As far as your height adjustment is concerned, you have this little uh, lever here and you have your couple different settings. So we can just move it up like so depending on, of course, how high or how low you want your grass. And this is a little hard to do one-handed, but you kind of get the picture there. I think I also mentioned it does have LED headlights, which is a little interesting to see on a mower. In case you were curious about how the lights look, this is how they look, and they actually do a decent job of lighting things up. Now, so the discharge chute on this is a little weird to me uh, because it's supposed to go into this groove and slot into place. This piece was inside of this, and I took that out because it would not fit without it. But also one thing to note here is it says that you're supposed to put this piece in the groove here, which as you can see has two kind of screw hole sized pieces. Now, if you look at the bottom of this, you got that plus these two little pieces on the other side of them. So they don't really fit very well. So I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, I could be, 
and I'll be the first to admit it, but it will not slot into place, but it will sit in there like so. It will fall out easily, but the flap will keep it on. So I assume that's okay. okay so now we're gonna put the bag together. So this should be pretty simple to do. Not sure you can see this, but these actually fold over the metal portions. And then you have the two slots around this piece here. Who knew the bag would be the hardest thing to put together? One hour later. Okay. So there you go. So that's how that's gonna look. And then of course just extends like that. So you should get some, a pretty decent amount of leaves in this. All right, so we have our bag all put together. So we'll lift up this part here and then it goes where the hinge is for the actual door right there. And as you can see, it just slots right in. Bam, there you go. So you have your leaf bag installed. Inserting and removing the battery is pretty simple. You have this little door. Now, if, in order to remove it, you simply push to click and it will pop it out like so. So you can somewhat easily grab it, but mind you, this is a very heavy battery. You'll put it back in, slide it in like so. If you need to test out how much is on the battery, press the power button right here. It'll tell you how much is on there. Now, in order to engage the blade, you actually have to push down on this and hold on the bail switch at the same time. You'll hear the blade actually uh, spin up, and then you can use the self-propel to actually move it. So I'll try and show you this really quick in the dark. So as you can see, if you try to pull this up and push the button at the same time, it will not let you. So you have to actually pull this, push the button, and then hold it, hold the bail switch. So let me see if I can do this one-handed. This is very hard to do. See, it spins right up. Now you can let go, and that's how loud it is. And then you have yourself compelled. I realize this is hard to see, but that is cut grass, and this is about three weeks of length. So just to give you an idea of how good it cuts here, it actually does a pretty decent job. Now you can actually move it without turning on the blade. So um, if you need to move it, just hold down this and it will actually move. So you don't need to turn on the blade to move it. You can actually just hold down the green, hold down the green self-propelled handle and it will move. You also have a uh, speed control for your self-propelled on your mower. So it actually, like I said, can go from 0.9 to 3.1 miles per hour. So, and it will giddy up actually. So uh, let me see if I can show you this like on full speed. Not that I really should do this, but here it is on full speed. It's like a little RC car, pretty quick. So here it is after our first mow. Looks pretty good, actually. All right, so I just mowed my yard and my neighbor's yard. Took me 47 minutes to do both, front and back. Let's see how much battery we have left. So two little notches, so probably just under 50%. All right, so after using the new Ego mower uh, for two lawns, I wanna go ahead and give you some uh, pros and cons, first impressions kind of thing uh, between my previous mower and this one. So this is my previous mower. It's a Troy built TB240. I got it from Lowe's about three years ago. Engine started giving me some issues here. So I went ahead and tried this Ego mower. So both of them are very similar. They are both uh, self-propelled mowers. Both have a 21 inch deck. Obviously, there's a huge price difference between a gasoline and an electric. Uh, this one is a $600 mower. This one was probably about a $300 $350 mower. Now, here are some things that kind of bothered me with the new Ego. Now, both of these, as I mentioned, are self-propelled. However, the gasoline-powered one has the front wheels, so it's front-wheel drive, and this one is rear-wheel drive. So when you do the self-propelled, this one has the front wheels running. This one has the rear wheels running. Now, the problem with that is that the Ego is a lot lighter than the Troy Built is. So it wants to pop a wheelie, especially if you have it at any of those higher variable speeds. So as I mentioned, this does have a variable speed for the self propel. It goes from 0.9 to 3.1 miles per hour. So this thing will giddy up and it wants to get away from you. So that's the only thing I wasn't really too, too fond of. I kind of wish that they would have made it front wheel drive because it's so light. That would have been a lot better. Now, another thing I noticed is that when you do engage the self-propel, the mower lifts slightly to move forward. So there is a lag, number one. Uh, it does take a few seconds for that to engage before it starts moving. 
And number two, I noticed that if you are moving forward and then you move backward, that it will cut the grass a little bit lower because even though you have that height adjustment set, it's still moving up slightly to actually engage when it goes forward. I don't know why that's a thing. This one doesn't do that. It just starts spinning the wheels. As soon as you engage the uh, safety bail switch, it just goes. So I don't know why they had to make it lift up slightly. I think that was kind of unnecessary. Another problem with that is that say you do engage your self propel and you need to back up really quickly, like I was trying in my backyard to just do some tighter areas, going forward really quick and backing up, forward and back up. I noticed that the back wheels would lock sometimes. Like they would actually just completely lock up and I'm literally dragging the thing. So that was kind of annoying. Um, and these are like nitpicky kind of things, but honestly, if I'm mowing my lawn and I'm trying to go quickly, that is kind of a hindrance. So really the self-propel is mostly the bad for me. Everything else seems to be pretty good. Maneuverability is also kind of an issue with that self-propel because you have to kind of find the right speed, especially if you're going around something, around a tree, around something um, like, if you have, for example, in my front yard, I have that tree, I have a bunch of stones around it, that kind of makes it difficult to go around. So you have to kind of find the right speed, right balance for that. Now, of course, there are pros of this. This has no gas, this does. This one takes oil, gas, needs spark plugs, air filters, all that stuff, regular maintenance for a gasoline engine. This doesn't need any of that. So that's kind of nice. So you don't have to deal with any of this winterizing stuff, taking all the oil out, taking the gas out, making sure that you know, it's good for the winter. This one, take the battery out, you're done. That's it, fold it up, you're all done. I do like that. Um, I like the fact that the mulcher is actually not on the side like this one, it's actually in the back. I did also notice when I was using this that when it mulched the grass, it made a neat little line as I was going down. So this one sprays it everywhere, just anywhere it wants to, just anywhere. This one actually sprays it in a nice little line so I can actually go back over it and get the rest of it. So that was actually pretty nice. Another pro is noise. So this one is noisy, of course, because it has an engine, has blades and all that stuff running at the same time. This one has no noise except for the blade. The blade isn't too noisy either, so it's really actually kind of nice. Uh, you don't have to use any hearing protection when you're uh, mowing the lawn with the Ego. Now, just to give you kind of a price comparison too, now, of course, I told you this is $600, right? This one was $350. So for pretty much equivalent gasoline power powered mower you're gonna get you know something pretty similar for a lot less money however you are gonna have to maintain it so you have some maintenance costs but honestly the maintenance costs per year still don't equal up to how much you're spending uh for the ego mower you probably have this for three years before you'd even hit the 600 dollars uh for that ego mower so really it's kind of kind of a hard decision to make other differences of course between a gasoline powered mower and this ego mower is the fact that this is much lighter but it's also lighter material so this is made of plastic so it doesn't look super expensive even though it is this one is of course metal has paint on it and everything like that um, i think both of them would clean up pretty easily uh i've had no issues cleaning up mine my mower i'll even put wax on it every now and again just keep the red paint looking nice but this one is just plastic should just be able to wipe off pretty easily now of course it's the first time i'm using it so i don't know how well this will work over time the ego has a pretty good warranty three years on the battery five years on the mower itself so that's pretty good uh warranty that they give you out of the box so you don't actually have to buy a warranty you get a pretty good one uh right out of the box uh, this one i believe you got like a one-year warranty I, I don't really remember um, but again, I've had this for three years, started giving me some issues. And that's why I'm here with the Ego. I also am mowing in really good conditions. So it's a decently sunny day, no water, no rain or anything like that. I've used this in the rain and man, this thing will chug along. Um, it has some problems sometimes, but it'll chug along for the most part. I don't know how well an electric mower will handle uh, wet grass. I really don't know. I don't know how it's gonna handle leaves or anything like that. So I'm just giving you guys a kind of a first impressions pros and cons kind of thing. Now, again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. Uh, I'm really not sure. The The cons of this with the self-propel portion of it kind of annoy me. Uh, and I think it might annoy me to the point where I will return it because of that. But everything else about it is great. Um, it cuts pretty well, battery life is good. Um, and of course it does the job and it has no maintenance. No maintenance except for charging the battery. But the self-propel part of it, ugh, I don't know if that's really, it's, that might be, might be the reason I return it. 
So anyway, guys, if you've made it this far watching this video, uh, I really appreciate you watching. I hope this helps you if you are looking for an electric mower. Now, this is an Ego brand. I have not tried any other brand of electric mower. I don't know if there are anything better out there, but this thing had consumer reports, uh, great reviews, all kinds of stuff. But of course, you don't know until you actually try it yourself. So my annoyances might not be your annoyances. So uh, if you're considering it, I say just try it and see if you like it. Uh, Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Ego Mower. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, and I'll try to answer as many as, I get, as, many as I can because I know I wasn't the only one that was curious about this. A friend of mine just bought the same thing and we both kind of had the same opinion on this thing. So uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or anything. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.